Yes! 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 Yes. And this is to go with the no of evolutions earlier, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> now I'm going to put these videos up on YouTube out of order so it makes zero sense as to what we're talking about. You're welcome, YouTube. No, you're not. <laughs> welcome, guys. Uh, we are opening up a, a Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. Uh, this is getting harder and harder to come by and getting more and more expensive by the minute. But uh, I happen to have a spare one sitting in my back room. This is the last spare one that I have. So I figured it's Christmas. We're going to open it up because it's a special day mm. for a special stream. And uh, if you're not watching on Twitch, then join us next time. Twitch.tv slash PKM and Evolutionaries. No, I actually have a few ideas as to why it's getting more expensive. Why is that? Well, expanded Zoar GX is still a very powerful thing. Okay. Second of all, Zoar Arc, of course. So awesome right there. Third off, the that alternate Mew in the test tube art is still very sought after. This is true. But Zorark isn't in this set. It was a promo. No, you're thinking the full art. Oh, okay. The full art was a promo. Okay, the full art. That's the one. But the Rainbow Rare and the regular art are in the set. Okay. The full art one was the best one, so I tend to block out the other ones. Just saying. You're not. <laughs> and that's why we have the Shining cards in here as well. We're the... This being one of them, and it's actually becoming quite popular as well and going up in value, is this Shining Ho-Oh. -Oh. I actually still have one of mine somewhere back in my place. I would hold on to it. <laughs> okay, so um, we've got but, uh, Shining Legends packs here. But honestly, Shining Legends is one of those few sets that, satisf that satisfies both the competitive and the collector side. This is true. It, like I said, if you play competitive, again, Zoar GX is still a big powerhouse of that format. Indeed. Um, Plus, see. there was actually decently competitive stuff here, like um, Shining Mew and Jirachi saw a little bit of play. Right. Um, the Mew 2 was actually splashed in some decks. Table. Table, 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 table. But of course, of course, I was so... 36 was like, months. One of the Thank biggest you. meta things in all of Sun and Moon. Vile Rage, thank you so much for that resub with Twitch Prime for 36 months, meaning three solid years of being here. Vile Rage, thank you so much for being part of this community for so long. Um, I just recently stumbled across the picture of all of us together when we met up in Daytona, and that was actually three years ago. Yeah. That's one of the last events we went to. Dang. <laughs> Crazy. Time well, flies. But honestly, it's like, especially because of Zoar GX, because it was like, nothing else in Sun and Moon really power crept it. Like, it was met up when it was released, all the way until it was rotated out. I forget if this has an energy in it or not. This is a Sun and Moon era. Set, it's Sun right? and Moon, it does. It does. It's so hard to remember. Because Shining Legends fell in a weird spot. It was like um, the first half of Sun and Moon. Yeah. Alright, so we've got a Croconaw, a Jinx, Plusle with the Minin. There's also another set that's guaranteed at least a Hollow. That is true. Toracat, Totodile, we got Lily, Pokemon Breeder, Ultra Ball. We got a reverse hollow Latios. Oh shoot! Woo! Right off the bat, we start off with Shining Arceus. Nice. I know a lot of you are going, it's Arceus. Well, you know what? I say Arceus. I don't care. Um, yeah. Very, very nice. There, let me try to get some of that shine in there, that rainbow shine on it. Beautiful card. Love these shining cards. The Pokemon itself being textured makes it even better. All right, that's one way to start. And it's oh, Chris. It's a go figure. We pull an Arceus of all things. Arceus is English. Arceus is Japanese. Well, you know what? This is the one time that I agree with the Japanese pronunciation. <laughs> Three. Latios was one. pretty good too. The breakthrough Latios. Oh yeah, that did get used a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, especially when the top of Coco got rotated up. Everyone replaced it with the Latios. Arcus. <laughs> Yakko. Alright, we got a Zora. Litten. Quillfish. Quillfish. Shroomish. Golette. Rest in peace. <laughs> no longer in format. Scrafty. How. Minin. And Verizian Hollow. Alright, let's see here. Be awesome if we got two shinings out of this uh, elite trainer bottle. Oh, that would be cool. Probably not to 
have anything to catch there, but that did not like me for some reason. Alright, dark energy over there. Alright, we got a Perlo. We got another Zora. Golet. Larvesta. Scraggy. Lyper. Electrode. Great Ball. Reverse Scraggy. And eh, N's favorite Pokemon of the black and white era. Second favorite of all time. Ugh, uh, uh, gross, gross. I almost forgot he was in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is called Shining Legends, after all. You gotta remember that. OG Blood Gaming, thank you very much for 25 bits. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, KNN. How are you guys during the holidays? We're doing great. Thank you very much hey, for that. there. Doing well, doing well. Incineroar, Sophocles, Super Scoop Up, Bulbasaur, and a Marshadow, which was this was another one that was very, very playable. The Let Loose. Yep. This was used quite a bit. Quite a bit indeed. All right, this is my last pack. Or N takes over. There you go. Three, one, two. All right. So we've got a Totodile, Litten, Purloin, Voltorb, Golit. Go lurk, <laughs> go figure. Ha, go let, go lurk, go figure. Volcarona, uh, no. <laughs> damage mover, Totodile, and a Zekrom. Uh, that, right. The outreach Pokemon came back in this too. They did. They did indeed. And that will do it for my packs. All right. Hello, well, Devin. Merry Christmas to you as well. Let's go hang in some my packs now. Hello, Devin. All right, Thomas. Have a great one. The English and Japanese pronunciations were the same originally, but changed due to the ter English term arse. That's a good point. Uh, in reality, both pronunci pronunciations are acceptable. Thank you for clarifying that, Silver Sonic. Alright oh, guys, so a little Tudzile, Litten, Purloin, Voltorb, Golette, got Spiritomb, got Electrode, Lapard, Torcat Reverse, and a Verdizian. Nate, if we do get a shiny Genesect, I will go through the green screen because I love Shiny Genesect. It's like my favorite Shiny legendary slash mythical Pokemon. Genesect was actually a little rogue too. It was. I, I had a lot of fun playing Genesect. Like it wasn't a meta deck, but it was a it was a decent rogue deck. It did do it was. It did top it did actually win one major tournament. With the Venusaur. Yep. <laughs> I used to play it on PCC Joe quite a possible. A few more Kelby. That's bigger than the Venusaur. There it is, Jungle Totem. Great First ability. Lapper and another Latios. Yeah, so every basic grass energy attached would actually equal two, and Genesect would deal a lot of damage for grass oh, energy. Yeah. Honestly, I think it'd almost be fair to play the Genesect with the um, Rillaboom now from Sword Shield Base. True. So you just attach grass. Yeah, that would work even better. From deck. Because Garb would shut down. That. Uh, oh, what? Ooh. What? We got something. Alright. Aura. Plusle, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Ivysaur, Stunfish, Switch, Venusaur, we did it two times! We got yes. the whole lineup! We did it! Twice in one stream! Machop Machamp! We got Arbok, Machop Machamp, Reverse and Thunderbolt, and, and <gasps> so close! Oh shoot! I mean it's so cool, don't get me wrong, but so close! The Mewtwo GX Full Art. The alternate art submitted in the test tube from the first movie. Oh man. So, so close. You know what I would do for like an even semi playable Mewtwo that was in its armored form? Yeah. Because like, we did get a lunchbox with it in its armored form, but it was terrible. It was. Like, it doesn't have to be meta or anything, but even if it's just like slightly playable, that's all I would ask for. That is literally all. Oh, we did it! Shiny Genesect! I said I would do it. Do so, it. Guess what? Rip the green screen! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Gen Shiny Genesect! That part that ripped the green screen, ripped the lights. I forgot the lamp was there too, so. Rip Beezus, who yes. was in my scanner. Shiny Genesect! <laughs> I forgot about the light though. <laughs> Way to go! Oh, that was great. <laughs> Well, while he's trying to fix all that damage, we're going to go on to the last pack I have here. <laughs> I completely annihilated this. 
All right, so I got one more pack here. <laughs> oh, that was great. We got something again. No way. We got something. What happened with those bits? Hold up, hold up. A melting box available. Open it. Uh, 2x candy is not done, so... Oh, very nice. Thank you, Yakka, for calling that out of Pokemon Go. All right, I got loop. Mine, hun. Larvesta. Twerkle. Ivysaur. Ultra Ball. Got a fur alligator. How? A reverse fur alligator. And another full art Mewtwo! What? Like, don't get me wrong, the full art still does look pretty cool. It's just not the test tube one. <laughs> but it was still a pretty cool card. Up, <laughs> so um if we were doing points here, I completely whooped you. Uh, I would say so. Oh, man. Another one. This was a really good Elite Trainer box. I'm actually really glad we opened it. My Shining... My um, Shining Fate... No, not Shining Fate. I'm um, Shining Legends. Mine have always been good. Uh, the Mail Alexa Bliss. This is a public stream. We are doing that all for the month of December. Actually, might even do it January 1st. But, um, yeah, this is for everybody. So, really, really nice Elite Trainer box. Like, holy cow. If that one ended up being a test to Mewtwo, I would rent it at green screen next. <laughs> or Rainbow Zoroark. I really didn't think we were going to get a Shining Genesect. So, you guys get to see the green screen go down yeah. again. <laughs> so, let me show you guys the Shining Genesect, why he played it, why it was good. Oh, yes, that's right. Gaia Blaster 50, and it's 20 more for each grass. So, the Venusaur multiplied this by two. So, if you had three, you really had six there. And that did a lot of damage. And you get to move that energy with the ability. Yep, and if you had any grass on the bench, the ability, once per turn, you can move it from the bench to your to this. And back then, we had Max Elixir, so... Yeah. Oh, man, I miss oh, Max Elixir. It was so good. Nostalgic. Max it Elixir was like one of the most busted items that ever came out. That was my favorite card. It was awesome. Yeah. Sleepy Big Red, hey, Merry Christmas to you, too. Max Elixir and Super Scoop Up. <laughs> the TCGO battle, Rango Genesect. Yeah, I remember that, man. That was great. That was great. Oh, man. Well, I gotta tell you, I was not gonna open this originally, but since it's Christmas, I thought, you know what? Oh, you know what? That's your present. You got a go. Genesect. And I get a Shining Genesect out of it. That is awesome. Not to mention the Arceus and two full art Mewtwo's. Definitely well, well worth cracking that one open, so... Oh, man. Well, thank you guys for joining us here today um, for this video. If Twitch is still here, we got still more to go. So thank you guys for being here for this. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Check us out on Twitch. Ray, what you talking about? I'm the one that pulled the Gen Sec. Not him. Congratulate me. Yeah, he pulled it, but I get to keep it. So there you go. <laughs> That's my fee. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyway, 10% right there. Yeah, okay. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Take care. Have a great day.